Hello everyone, Steven Surreal here, and I have some. I'm kind of nervous and I'm kind of jittery and I'm kind of shaky because I have something really exciting to show you guys today. Um, I received something in the mail that I wasn't expecting to receive today. Um, I have a package from Itai Kuji, the um, the distributors for Final Fantasy Final Fantasy VII merch, and um, this particular package was won from a contest, a Twitch contest, for um, Audrey at Aitai Kimochi's um, stream. And it was during her interview, her chat, or her interview with uh, her Aitai chat, she calls it, with a very special individual named John Eric Bentley, who is the voice of one of my favorite video game characters from one of my favorite games of all time. That is John Eric Bentley the voice of Barrett from Final Fantasy VII Remake. And, um, um, well, let's just get into it. I'm so excited, oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way with the keys, too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna... Cut this this really nice um, blue packaging they have um, this I type I type packaging and uh, by the way I uh, hear you can get this on their official website too um, so let's see that is at itaikuji.com that's a i t a i k u j i dot com okay that's the wrong one okay. Almost over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Huh? I probably should have thought this through, huh? And got like a scissors or something. Okay. Oh, so much thought and effort was put into there. Okay. So, um, let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh. I'm like. Oh, Oh my goodness! I got it! It's an autograph from John Eric Bentley! Let's see. Let's see what it says. It says, um, congrats. And it has a really awesome picture of, um, what many are calling, what many are actually calling, um, the most handsome dude in, uh, in the game, uh, Barrett. Uh, it says, congratulations. No disrespect to, um, Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> the Cloud, and Rufus, and Reno, and all the other dudes. Okay, congrats so much for love, Steve. Uh, congrats and much love, Steven. Glad to say that I know the win the winner because of his awesome book. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, I think there's more stuff in here. Um, and this is this one is a well the big reveal because um, this is like the first one outside of the actual like distribution center ever. So I'm like the first of uh, what you would consider a uh, customer or um, or winner of this product ever. So oh, here it is. This is this is a signed um Barrett. Wallace plushy from J signed by it says congrats congrats Steve congrats Stephen from J, J Bentley John Eric Bentley oh my gosh he has the um, I wonder they probably want me to unwrap it because they want to show it in its full glory huh oh my goodness it's, oh wait let's see. He's got the chin strap beard, and he's got his signature eyeglasses. Right? And he wears them at night. He wears his sunglasses at night because he's so cool. And um, he's got the belts that everyone's making fun of because every character in Final Fantasy VII needs, Remake needs to have like 20,000 belts on them. <laughs> he's, got, he's got at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven belts. <laughs> he has seven belts. Hey. That's a that's a that's a very poetic, huh? For five by seven, he's got his signature his signature arm gun. 
Um, and it's gold. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. And, um, oh, he signed the back of this guy too. Oh, thank you so much, John. I appreciate it. You, you're, you're such a sweet guy. You're such an awesome guy. And you're, you're the perfect person to play, to play, um, Barrett Wallace. Because Barrett Wallace is a tough, big, tough dude who don't take crud from nobody but he is a sweetheart and he's got a heart of gold and he loves his his kid he loves his daughter marlene and he he's a great dad and he'll do anything for her so um oh hey some little detail so there is actually i don't know if you can see it there's actually um a tattoo and it looks like a tattoo of a flaming it looks like a play on the meteor but it's a skull instead of meteor, which is pretty poetic too. He's got also got he's also got movable um very cool. He's got his movable um earrings too. Let's see. Dude, like I gotta tell you something, guys. Um right now I have personal experience with trying to produce these to try to produce stuffed animals and, and plushies. Oh my gosh, it's a pain in the butt. Oh my gosh, because you know these little details here? The, the sunglasses. So it's one thing to have like a template that you just sew together and put stuff in, uh, put put cotton in. But it's another thing to put these accessories. Oh my gosh, these, these gloves, um, the tattoo, the vest, the, um, the gun, the arm gun. Um, even like the shoes and the pants, you, the pants are separate. Uh, and of course the sunglasses and the earrings that that's a lot of detail and they usually charge you for every single little add-on like that uh, the Aitaikuji people's uh, distributor or the, the person who manufactures these for them must be a saint because uh, this is a pain in the butt to make <laughs> and I greatly appreciate it Audrey and uh, Harada and um, of course John for, for you guys doing this for me and I appreciate this so much um, it says Barrett Wallish plush. And it has a lot of ish instructions. Uh, licensed by Square Enix. And you know what? Um, I want to pitch Square Enix to make a video game for my book, The Destroyer of Worlds. Um, which interestingly, oh my gosh, John Eric Bentley owns, I think, um, two, three, three copies, I think, of this book. And, um, my goodness, uh, like, he, he said, uh, check out this, check out this man's amazing, um, um, what, I, oh my gosh, I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm like freezing up right here. Let's see exactly, exactly what he said, um, on Twitter about my book. He said, um, he said this, oh, sorry. He called it an amazing book. He said to check it out. Check out this man's amazing creativity. And that means that means a lot to me. And so does winning winning this. Um, you know, I, I want to tell you about Barrett. Oh, I want to kind of want to tell you about Final Fantasy VII because Final Fantasy VII inspired me in a lot of ways to write this book. And in fact, this book, The Destroyer of Worlds, takes a ton of inspiration from Final Fantasy VII. Um, which I know meant a lot to John Eric Bentley too. It meant a lot to meant a lot to him because um, he played it too, and he said that when he played it and he saw there was an African American or there was a black character, and he didn't die in the beginning. He wasn't the first one to die. He was the leader, and he had a lot to say. He was a character who had relations with other people. He was a friend to Tifa, and he was an un he was an un um, he was an uneasy ally of Cloud for a while, and he was a good dad, great dad to Marlene. And he had, uh, not to spoil too much for people who haven't played the game, but he had a great friend, he had a good friend, almost a brother in Dine. And um, he, you know, he, he lost his wife in North Corral. You know, he had a, like a really complex, beautiful backstory. One thing about, John, um, one thing about uh, Barrett Wallace that I love is that um, there's 
complexity and depth to him because he's a big, strong, tough guy. And one of the things I loved, 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 loved about the original game, and a lot of people didn't like it. I don't understand. They, they say it's a, it, um, they say that it's insensitive or whatnot, or it's uh, it, it 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 ages the game or whatnot. I love the expletives. And let me tell you why. Because because Sid Sid later in the game gets a lot of credit. I, for some reason, people remember Sid cussing a lot, but Barrett did it first, and Barrett did it, in my opinion, better, because you didn't exactly know what Barrett was exactly the words Barrett was using because they were censored uh, with symbols, and I still do that, <laughs> you know, because I don't really swear, um, especially online or in person. Um, but I will sometimes do the exact same thing following the Final Fantasy VII uh, template where I will just censor it using symbols. But you knew what Barrett was saying. He was basically telling people um, to, to wake up, soldier, and you go get it done. And you go do this because it's important. We're going to save the planet. And it was so important to him that he had to go and cuss about it. <laughs> That's important. We gotta save the planet. We gotta stop Shinra from sucking the energy. Over. Eventually, we have to stop Sephiroth from dropping meteor on us. You know, um, great character. One of my very, 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 very favorite character video game characters ever. One of the best characters in Final Fantasy VII, which is, which is famous for having some of the greatest video game characters, most memorable video game characters ever. Uh, and uh, thank, you, thank you guys so much, Aitai Kuchi and Audrey, and, um, and of course John, uh, for, for sending this and giving it, giving it to me. Uh, I am so touched. Congrats so much. Congrats and much love, Steven. Glad to say that I know the winner because of his awesome book. Oh, that's beautiful. I, I, I'm very happy. Um, so, uh, I'm so glad that this went off. This went well. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous. I was, I was worried I was going to mess up this unboxing. It was going to spill all over the place. I was going to drop the products, which I value so much. Oh my goodness. Uh, and there's a Mako reactor behind Barrett. All oh, the symbolic Mako reactor. Oh my goodness. So awesome. Thank you so much, guys. God bless you. And I hope that I wish you and your families a lot of safety. I hope that we can all, all stay safe and we can all um, find success and happiness and joy. Um, so God bless and take care, you guys. Take care.